What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing a brand new video in Greenville, Wisconsin. If you are new here, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today we are doing some summertime cleaning here in our house. You know, our room is a disaster. Oh my goodness, this place is a mess. So let's go see what my son is up to. I think he's working on the laundry here. Good morning, son. How are you doing this morning? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for getting the laundry done. The room has been a complete disaster. You know, we have not been able to pay for the maid service, so we've been trying to clean up the room ourselves, and we have been trying to save up a little bit more money. But guess what, son? We are gonna be going out to breakfast for the first time in about six months. We saved up enough to go to the burger house. So excited. Yes, I did get a buy one, get one free coupon, so it is going to be a very good price. But let's finish up cleaning up the room before we get on the road. I mean, it is going to be the best day ever, son, okay? Now, we gotta make sure we turn off all the power so we do not waste any more money, okay? Make sure you turn off those lamps, turn off the AC, all right? Well, we're gonna be getting on the road right now. It is going to be a great day, you guys. You know, it is my son's favorite restaurant in all of Greenville, and we are finally going back after many, many months. You know, I am so excited. Oh my goodness, what's going on with the car? It's literally like honking its horn at us, seriously? Oh my goodness. Hello, neighbor Steve, how you doing this morning? Um, any idea why our car is honking its horn? Did you ram into it by accident or something? Oh my goodness. I think it's got some sort of electrical problem. You might have to fix it for us later in the parking lot, okay? All right, well, let's get in the car right now. I think it is a little bit of electrical short. I mean, that is a little bit insane. I don't know what's wrong with this car. Maybe it is haunted or something, but we're getting on the main highway right now, and it is a beautiful day here in Greenville, Wisconsin. Look at this weather. I know, I think we might need a new fuse or something, but, you know, luckily our neighbor Steve is great with working on vehicles, and I'm sure he could fix it up for us. So we are roaring down the road right now, and we are going to get the best breakfast ever, you guys. I am so excited. I am very hungry, and you know, any idea what you want to get from the restaurant, son? I think I'm going to get one of those breakfast sandwiches. You know, they are so good there, so you should get the same one as well. Yeah, the dollar sandwich is awesome as well. So we are roaring down the road. We're going to be arriving at the main town here in Greenville in just a minute, and then we're going out to lunch, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think this guy wants to race us in his Corolla over here. Luckily, we have 80 horsepower here in our beautiful Ford. I mean, it is one of the best vehicles in all of Greenville. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, the brakes. Oh, the brakes. Oh my gosh, the brakes literally would not work. Oh my gosh, I got to call a tow truck right now. Oh my goodness, I'm calling the tow truck. This is not good. We literally are just in an accident. Oh my gosh, the car, it's literally damaged. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my brakes would not work. We have not replaced the brakes in 20 years. We need a tow truck. Please hurry. Oh my gosh. The car is literally smoking out of the hood. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. My beautiful car. We've had this for 20 years. Oh my word. Look at this thing. It is completely destroyed. Yeah, we're okay. I literally smashed into that light pole over there. My brakes were faulty and they would not break. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is not good. I just called the tow truck right now. I mean, we also got into an accident with this other vehicle over here. My car is literally smoking here. It's stinking up. Look at this thing. Unbelievable. Hopefully, the tow truck will be arriving here shortly to get this thing to the mechanic shop. I cannot believe this. Yeah, well, I mean, you've been fixing up your BMW in the parking lot every day, so you might have to work on this thing, but... You know, I think we'll have this thing towed to Joe's Mechanic Shop because it seems like it's a little bit too much work to be completed in the parking lot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, our car is literally smoking. Look at the engine compartment right now. There is smoke coming out of it. The hood is damaged. The front bumper is destroyed. And our rear bumper is also smashed as well. So it looks like the tow truck is finally here. They are going to be picking up our Ford that has been in a horrible car accident. Son, try backing it up. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's huffing and puffing getting on the tow truck right now. Oh my gosh, even the neighbors looking at that thing like that thing belongs in a junkyard. I know, our poor beautiful car is literally very destroyed. So we're gonna be getting in the tow truck right now and we are going to be going to the Joe's Mechanic Shop with the tower right over here. All right, can you let us in please? We need a ride to the mechanic shop. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we're getting on the road right now. Hopefully, our Ford is not that expensive to repair as we do not have full coverage insurance on the vehicle. So we have to pay 
for all the damages that are done to the vehicle. And the accident was our fault due to our faulty brakes that we have not replaced in 20 years. So, I mean, hopefully everything can be fixed for a decent price. I know Joe's Mechanic Shop is a little bit more expensive than we're used to. But, I mean, we've been saving up a little bit of money. So, we have about $200 to fix up our Ford after the accident. So, hopefully we can afford to get that fixed up. I mean, it is looking horrible after the accident. The rear bumper is gone. The front bumper is damaged. The engine is smoking. You know, the hood is smashed as well. I mean... I think it might have been a recall on the vehicle, but we have had no time to take it to the mechanic at all. You know, we've been working very hard and many extra hours to finally try and move out of the motel, but I do not think we're going to be able to afford it after this horrible accident. Oh my goodness. Our anti-braking system didn't work and the car literally would not stop. So we had no choice but to smash into the light pole. All right, we're pulling up to Joe's Mechanic Shop right now. Hopefully, they can give us a quote on how much the vehicle will be to repair. You know, maybe it'll be a decent price since we've been going to Joe's Mechanic Shop for about 10 years now. So, hopefully, they give us a nice, good price on the repair. Oh, my gosh. Our poor car. We've been driving this thing forever. I feel so bad. You know, it's been such a good vehicle for us. And I think we got to keep it forever. You know, it's been such a good vehicle. All right, son, I think you got to pull it into bay one, and we will speak to the mechanic in the main room right over here. Right this way, son. Right this way, all right? Pull it right into the bay. Hopefully, we can get it on the lift here and see what's going on with the internals of the vehicle. And oh, my goodness. It's literally huffing and puffing. I don't even think it can make it up here. It's got about 80 horsepower on here. You got to step on the gas, son. Full throttle, full throttle. There we go. There we go. Whoa, there we go. You made it, son. Good job. All right, we are parked here. This thing is huffing and puffing. Oh my goodness, this thing is not looking or smelling too good at all. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go into the main office over here and let's go talk with the mechanic, see what he has to say. I mean, hopefully it is repairable. All right, let's go inside and see what he has to say today. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is not good at all. Good morning, how you doing, Mr. Joe? Um, we are just in a horrific car accident. Uh, we need to know how much it is to repair our vehicle, please. I mean, it better be a good price. You know, we need that family discount because we are on a very tight budget, okay? Oh gosh, I am so scared, son. Hopefully it is a decent amount of money so we can afford it. Oh my gosh! $700?! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sir, are you kidding me, right? We can't afford that. Oh my gosh. Sir, I am so sorry. We will not be able to get the vehicle repaired here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's just a scratch. You know, you could just smash down that hood with a hammer. You know, find a bumper from the junkyard. I think $50 to repair it. Buff it out. Yeah, buff it out would sound good to me. Well, I'm sorry, sir. We cannot afford this damage. I think we'll be just going on our merry way. Okay, sir. Have a good day. Good luck. Thank you. All right, son, let's get out of here. We're going to get in our car and we are going to leave with our dignity. We cannot afford this expensive repair shop. Hopefully, we can fix it ourselves or something. You know, this is unbelievable. We'll just drive with a huffing and puffing vehicle. I mean, unbelievable. Look at this thing. It still runs and drives perfectly fine. Okay, son? Well, let's head over to the gas station. You know, we need to get our breakfast sandwich and, you know, I don't know, son. What do we do? This thing is literally completely destroyed. The front bumpers are gone. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. The brakes are working even worse than ever. You got an idea? What is it, son? It better be something good. Great, my son's got a good idea. He is very smart, so you know, he's always coming up with the best ideas. All right, we're getting on the main highway right now. Uh, your good idea is to get a lottery ticket? Son, we barely have enough food to get our breakfast sandwich. Do you think we should get a lottery ticket? Oh my goodness, well, it's a 50-50 chance. All right, well, I guess we'll do that. You know, if we don't win, we'll just have to go back to the motel and find something in the mini fridge, okay? Maybe we could ask the front desk person if they have some extra change for the vending machine that we can have, okay? All right, well, let's get to the vending machine over here at the gas station. I don't know, son. Should we get food or should we buy the lottery ticket? It's up to you. We could get some delicious snacks from the vending machine or one lottery ticket, okay? All right, well, I guess we'll just get the lottery ticket, okay? All right, we're headed inside right now. Oh my gosh, it's like haunted. Look at those lights. They're blinking so fast. Oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. All right, well, we're gonna be headed inside to the 
gas station to purchase our lottery ticket right now. Come on, son. You gotta help pick the lucky numbers, okay? I think this car is literally haunted or something. Look at that blinking like crazily. All right, let's go inside. We gotta get the lottery ticket and then we will be going on a road. Hopefully we do win something. All right, the lottery ma ticket machine is right over here. We need to get one of them. All right, we're gonna get one of them over here. And then we gotta head to the cashier and purchase it, okay, son? Oh my gosh, I am extremely nervous. Hopefully we can get a winning ticket or something. I am just so scared right now. Oh my gosh, I think the guy must be in the back room taking a break. Hello? Hello, we're looking to purchase our lottery ticket. Oh my gosh. I think here comes the worker. Come back from his break over here. Hi there, sir. We're here to purchase our lottery ticket. Good morning. We are here to purchase our lottery ticket today. All right. Thank you very much. How much is the total today? Oh my gosh. Five dollars. It's the last five dollars that we have. All right. Well, I guess we'll take it. Yes, son. You can pick the number since you are very lucky. All right, he's picking the numbers right now. It is a scratch off one. All right, son, let's go check it on the machine over here. Follow me, son. We gotta check it at the machine if we won, come on. Right over here. All right, we just gotta scan it right over here. Oh, oh, are you serious? Oh my gosh. We just won $2 million. Oh my, oh, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Guess what, son? We're gonna be moving out of that motel room and we are going to be moving into a beautiful home. Oh my gosh. This must be a dream or something. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna get out of this town. Come on, son. We are going to get out of here. I cannot believe this. We literally just won $2 million. I think this is the best day ever. I cannot believe this has happened right now. Oh my goodness, we are extremely lucky. We're going to head back to our motel and we are going to pack up the two items that we do have and we are going to be moving out of Greenville, Wisconsin and we are going to be moving to Bloxburg into a beautiful, beautiful mansion. So we are roaring down the road right now. We're going to be moving out of this motel. I mean, I am so thankful my son told us to get this lottery ticket. You know, otherwise we would be living in this motel forever. Seriously, I am so happy right now. I might even cry. Oh my goodness, we are roaring down the road as fast as we can. We gotta get our things and we gotta get out of here very, very, very fast. Oh my gosh. You know, the news station's probably gonna contact us about winning the lottery, son. I don't think we wanna show our face to the news after we just won $2 million. People might chase after us and ask us for some things, okay? But I don't think we gotta do that. We just gotta get out of town, let's get our things, and let's get out of here, son. Hurry up, hurry up. We're gonna fill up this car and they will never see us again at this motel. Hurry up. Oh my goodness, you guys. I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh. All right, grab your things quickly, quickly. All right, we're gonna take the TV with us as well. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got like three items that belong to us. I mean, that is all we need. And we are getting on the main highway right now and we are going to be moving to Blacksburg. We're leaving everything behind here in Greenville. You know, we might even get a new car, maybe even a limousine or something when we get to Blacksburg. So we're out of town right now and we have about a four hour road trip till we get to Blocksburg. so we will see you guys when we get there all right we finally arrived here in Blocksburg. we just bought our brand new car from mike's motors they said they pulled it out front for us oh my goodness guys i am so excited to see it oh my goodness look at our brand new limousine oh my gosh this is so nice seriously this is so nice all right we're getting in the car right now and we are going up to head home right now to our brand new house that we just purchased. How excited, son, are you? We literally bought the biggest house in Blocksburg. Oh my goodness, there it is straight ahead. Seriously, this is the biggest mansion in Blocksburg that you could ever dream of. Oh my goodness, look at this. They even said Christmas decorations were included for the upcoming holiday. Oh my, oh my, this thing goes on forever. Look at this house. Oh my goodness, this is insane. I cannot believe this, seriously. Look at this. All right, welcome sir, here's your keys to your house. Thank you so much, sir. All right, we're headed inside right now. Let's check out the place. Oh my, look at this grand foyer. This is beautiful. Look at the tall ceilings in here. This is amazing. Let's check out the dining room. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Look at this. We got a family room over here, wow. 
This is insane. This is all of our house. I cannot believe this. Look at this. We got a kitchen with a walk-in pantry with a lock so nobody could eat all of our food. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at this view from the kitchen. This is insanely beautiful. Oh my goodness. We better check up the upstairs right now. Let's go. I think my room is down here on the first level. Wow. This is so nice. We even got an in-ground pool in the backyard. We got walk-in shower with double shower heads. This is so nice. Look at this. I think I even have a walk-in closet over here. Look at this. Two-story closet. This is insane. We got countertops. We got clothes in here. This is so nice. Oh my goodness. All right, chill. Your room is upstairs. Follow me. We even got like a huge TV in my room. That is so nice. All right, we're going to go check out Chill's room right now. He's got the second biggest room. It is right down this hall, right over here. And he's got amazing views of the entire city, you guys. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. This is a nice room. You even got a balcony. Look at this view. You get to look at the whole city over here. Wow, this is insane. You even get to view the river out front. We have orange trees. This is such a nice house. We even have a garage that goes down here. We'll have to take a look some. Oh my goodness. We got our garage here. It is like a 10 car garage. I think we're going to have to stock up on some more cars. What do you think? This is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Sudden, look at this house. I seriously cannot believe this is ours. I mean, this is just unbelievable. We even have like a river in the front yard. All right, let's go swimming in the pool in the backyard. We're going to relax, enjoy our beautiful brand new home. I am just so happy. You know, thank goodness Chill told us to spend our last $5 on a lottery ticket because we literally won so much money and you know we are thankful for our beautiful mansion here in Bloxburg you know we're gonna have to have all of our friends and relatives over here because this is just insane what do you think son yeah let's go for a swim here and we'll make some food here oh my gosh this is literally so nice all right let's get out of the pool we're gonna whip up some food I am actually really hungry let's see what should we make today hmm I think we gotta whip up something pre-made all right, let me check the fridge. How about we have some meatloaf? We got some meatloaf here, son. What do you think? There's a piece of meatloaf for you. And I will have something else. Let's see. I'm going to have vegetable soup. All right. Well, we are going to enjoy lunch here at the house. You know, we had such an amazing day. We literally moved from Greenville, Wisconsin to Blocksburg to our brand new mansion. Guys, leave a comment down below. What do you think of our brand new home? What would you buy if you want a ton of money? So leave that down below in the comment section. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to join the Wanny family today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.